episode 116 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics. Chronologically. Kind of. Today, we are covering the last story of the October-November Batman number 25 issue. It's the fourth story and the last story in this one. It was written by Bill Finger and penciled by Jack Burnley, inked by Jerry Robinson, and lettered by George Russo. It is called The Kilowatt Cowboy. We're going into... We already did the cover, so we're going into the non-canon splash page. And I believe, Lumpy, it is your turn. We have Batman and Robin riding horses on the high wires. Yeah, um, Kilowatt Cowboys. Yeah. And um, there's a guy climbing up the scaffolding, I guess. I don't know what you'd call those things. The big metal. Electric, electrical. electrical tall towers. Tower. Okay. There's an all blue background. And Batman and Robin are on brown horses. There's like electric sparking up off of the horses' hooves. Yeah, they couldn't. They're horse. Okay. This is another one that, look, that looks. It actually looks good, but it's still just a plain background. Yeah, it's yeah, little, it's all drawn sky. good, but it's like nothing. But it look, cause, because because yeah. of the color that they chose, it just looks like blue sky all the way out, and it makes it look good. But it's still lazy because it's just like little lines and blue in the front there. Yeah, and they made the horse's mane and tail both look like lightning. Yeah. It's just weird. It doesn't really even make sense. I get it, what they were going for, Kilowatt Cowboys, but it just, it, it makes no sense. They're really taking the non-canon part of this, literally, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> and they got this stupid paragraph, a thousand thing at the bottom of the spoil the entire time. Although I don't really care to spoil this one. This one's... This one might as well be a PSA. Well, and that's why I said we'll get into it from the last yeah. one. Like, this I know is basically a PSA. Like, this it's is not- one of the worst PSAs, though, because, like, it's not, like, following anything that anyone cares about. Like, it's not following <laughs> cops or anything. It's just, like, these are electrical workers doing these things, and let me throw a bunch of lingo at you that no one gives a crap about. Nope. Uh, nope. These are unsung heroes, these guys are. Do you remember the last one we got of this? The, like the oil one where they threw all the oil terms at us? No one cares about yeah, their. F- no one gives I'm a shit reading about Batman. That. I don't care about your stupid electrical grid. Anyway. <laughs> so we open up with Batman and Robin swinging through the sky, go because the back signal is there, and they go to Commissioner Gordon's office. And Commissioner Gordon introduces them to a representative of the Rocky Dam Light and Power Company. And they are erecting new power lines in the territory, and someone is stealing their copper wire, so they want Batman to investigate. What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Wait. (laughs) I'm like, I didn't know what happened. I thought we lost him for a second. Uh, No, I didn't know. I thought we we crashed. I'm like, trying to figure out where this dam is. Rocky Dam. It doesn't feel like it's in Gotham. So... If it's not in Gotham, this guy come from out of state to the commissioner's office just to hire Batman. And the commissioner's lending him out now to other yeah, states? Yeah, don't they have their own cops? I don't know. Let's find out where... Is it called Rocky Dam? It says there it is. Rocky Dam. Rocky Dam Light and Power Company. I don't know if that's a real dam. And if it is in Gotham, why does Gotham need a dam? Does Gotham have every kind of landmark? Yeah, well, we gotta have... There's a Rocky Reach Dam. Yeah, that's the only one I see, and that's in Washington. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that they can't, They sent Batman out of state. I mean, they never mentioned a dam before in Gotham. So, you, did, did you guys ever hear the th- fan theory, not fan theory, but like one of the theories that Batman is an insane person, and that they just, that everyone's putting on a show just so he can be Batman? Yeah, oh, like, no, uh, like the Truman Show, almost. <laughs> yeah, almost like that. <laughs> so, is it possible that they're sending them out of state so they can, like, free all the bad guys so they can restart everything? So I they, do, through, they do this every month. I looked through the synopsis and it just says locations Gotham City. <laughs> 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 oh, it doesn't matter. Batman goes to the electrical station, I guess? I don't know. Are they just in the middle of the death? Job site. Yeah. Power plant. They're not even at the plant. Like, they're where the wires are. So, it's like, uh, maybe, but they're they're running new lines, so like it could be anywhere, right? Whatever the case is, uh, Batman's learning about 
the electrical lines, and thus we have to learn about it. And then, then they go on, and they see two guys fighting each other, and Batman's like, is that okay? And they, he's like, yeah, they just, they do that all the time, and they have their own little private war. But Batman has to be a busybody, and, huh, like that guy says, a busybody, and steps in between them and separates them. And then there's a little scuffle where the one guy jumps at Batman, he ducks and hits the other guy in the eye with a palm, and then punches another guy, and then he beats them both up and says, calm down, you two. And then he asks, what's this about? And then he's like, he tried to hit me with a wrench, and then um, the other guy says... Uh, no, I dropped it. it. And then the guy who hired Batman ex- goes into the backstory of these two characters that we'll never see again that I don't know why we need. Because <laughs> we gotta learn about electricians. Anyway, these two kids, one of them was rich, one of them was not, was poor, and when they were kids, they got into a fight, and they were like rivals, and then they went to high school together, or college, I'm not sure which, and they played football together, or on this opposite on opposite teams, I don't remember. No, they were on the same team, one was the quarterback, the other one was the blocker. And the quarterback always took all the fame, and the kid with the who was the blocker was like, "Well, where would you be if I didn't block for you?" And blah blah blah. So they've always been rivals. They've always been rivals, and now they work at the same place together. Yes, because the rich kid lost his parents, lost all their money, so now he has to work for a living too. And the yeah, other kid got a job. got hurt, and he used to be a lineman, and he got hurt, so now he just stays on the ground while the other one goes up, and they work together. And the story is about these two. It's, it's form for, they're at the forefront. The mystery takes a backseat. Batman takes a backseat. It's stupid. It really is yes. just a story about these two guys. I didn't hate the story, but it's, it, Batman's just a, you know, a side character. Anyway, Batman says he'll investigate. And then we get a bunch of panels of Robin. I don't know why they're letting a 10 year old kid work with dangerous equipment, but whatever. He's helping. And they're breaking his balls, too. <laughs> yeah, and they're breaking his balls, too. <laughs> Confuse it all and stuff like that. Uh. They send him to go get something, and he goes and he's like, and the guy laughs at him, ha ha ha, because yeah. that's not a thing. And blinker fluid, you know, same thing. Yeah, whatever. And Robin overhears that one of the guys is, I don't know, it's, he thinks one of the guys is a bad guy, essentially, because he they call him. somebody okay. talking to somebody named Alec, and it happens to be the same name of one of those two guys that were in that other story, right? And then there is an explosion somewhere, and then this some guy gets attacked in the back, gets attacked with a gun, they steal copper wire, and the Batman accuses Alec, and Alec's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's no- Because Robin heard it. And he's like, I'm no hijacker. And said so Alex Batman's like, I heard the name Alec, but apparently Alec, all linemen are called Alec. That's very confusing. Yeah, I don't know if it's an acronym of some sort or yeah, I don't what, but know. yeah, that is a stupid acronym if it is. Whatever. <laughs> Batman is like, okay, so you're not behind it, so we're gonna go have to go find them, and then so they go. I guess they are in the desert because the Batmobile is driving through the desert. I hope he's yeah. got gas and the sun. Yeah, and like, there's no road there. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. He's just driving through the middle of the desert. Yeah. Anyway, they've been hijacking copper wires in this truck, and they're hiding. They put these bad guys put way too much thought into this plan. I'm gonna say because they got they managed to get giant mirrors and put yeah. it on either side of the truck so it reflects nothing but desert, so no one can I, see it. So it's eventually inv- invisible. I wonder if that will work. I mean, I guess if it's just reflecting on the desert, like I, I guess it would. Yeah, it will work as long as you don't look at it from the back or the front. Yeah, you gotta drive sideways. Anytime you see somebody, you gotta turn sideways real fast. Well, they they don't, they don't drive with it like that. They just when they park it. Oh, that's where they park it. Okay. Yeah, they park it and put up the things there. So oh, oh yeah, yeah. they drive in it. I see it. I missed it, but they must have kidnapped Robin because now he's tied up too. And Robin realizes their plan, so he crashes into the mirror. That's pretty either real. It's either really shitty glass. But it looks thick, so Robin must have some thick shoulders. Yeah, well, we know it. They're all maybe he got a little water on him that makes him have more strength. Yeah, he's the boy wonder. Yeah. Anyway, they um he breaks the mirror and then he gets kicked in the face and then they put him in like a hole. I don't know where this is. It's like in the middle of a <laughs> <Definitely>. hill. <laughs> but the hole, it, like there's a door on the outside of it or something. I don't know what's going on there. Either. I don't know. But all I know is there's a giant hole in the, this for a window that Robin yeah. can see the Batmobile. Perfect out. circle hole that they shoved him into. And um, Batman shows up with the 
two linemen and he kicks one of the gunmen in the face and then another guy tries to shoot him but he ducks and then uppercuts him and then he pushes Batman pushes a giant copper spool of copper wire into another guy and he then he frees Robin off screen and he's like you're gonna tell me who supplies you in, or whatever the sandstorm for reasons now because <laughs> I'll be honest, I pretty much gave up on this right around this point. This is well, stupid. What, the co- you didn't was, like the com- convenient like sandstorm? Yeah, it got a little weird. And the hole in the side of the hill that they shoved Robin in, but he could see right out of it. Like, it, it just, the whole thing was very weird here. Yeah, and then the sandstorm happens, and I don't, for some reason they gotta climb the tower. I guess the wires are falling or whatever, or... Or does one... No, the guy goes up, right? Yeah, one of the bad guys runs up there. Oh, that's the bad guy. I thought that was one of the yeah. other guys. Anyway, the other guy chases him up. The guy that's afraid of heights? No, the, no. the other one. Oh, the, the other one chases him up because he gets hit, hit with a wrench. Right. And then falls onto a pole that's sticking out from the tower that wasn't there in one of the previous battles. Right. <laughs> and then the bad guy gets electrocuted and falls to his death. I guess the, Cause there's a I, I guess the loose, guy gets a kill count. <laughs> there's a loose wire just flipping around in the wind, apparently, in the sandstorm, too. That's where that guy got electrocuted from. Oh, so Death gets another kill count then. Yeah, yeah. He just decided this bad guy was going to die here. <laughs> it's like they don't even stop killing people. They're just stop, stop having Batman kill people. But they yeah, they're making it like yeah. natural causes now. That's what they're doing. They're still killing them in gruesome ways. Yeah. Anyway, the guy that's afraid of heights is like, I can't let my friend fall or my rival fall, so he's going to go up in there and uh, save him. And Batman also goes up and saves, goes up too, and he's attached to a crane or something? I don't know. Batman, yeah, they're, they're up there, hook. and they kind of get stuck, and then Batman goes over with a crane hook and swings over and gets him off the, the pole. Yeah, yeah, so Batman saves them, and then they're like, thanks, Batman, and then the two guys make up and say, no, we're actually friends, we're not actually rivals, because... That's the moral of the story, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. And then the bat, the next day, the Batmobile speeds off towards home, and and Batman's breaking Robin's balls about the, the guys. Yeah. You're breaking fun the of balls him. that for you know, putting them through, making them do manual labor that he's not even <laughs> paid to do as a child, <laughs> and it's not trained for, <laughs> and it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Yeah. So. Uh, garbage. That one was absolute garbage. <laughs> I, was so okay. I agree with you. I, that uh, yeah, one bothered me. It wasn't great, but I was still okay with it by the end of this one. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's been a while since I read a comic and I thought it was pretty good. You know, I thought the whole, the, the book as a whole was decent. As a whole, I'm okay with it, but the last story just was just like, this is basically a PSA. The kid figures out to save his buddy who's not really his buddy. He kind of gains his ability to climb again. and Yeah, and we see them patch things up. I think we should follow those guys for a while, but too bad. They're single appearances, Alex and Jack. Never so. see them again. Yeah, so we get a whole story of them for no reason. No reason. We had feature characters, Batman and Robin, supporting characters. The feature characters were not Batman and Robin. The feature characters were Alec and Jack, to be honest with you. Yes. And then I would say Batman and Robin were supporting characters. And then we got Mr. Crane. They were all single appearances. Then antagonist, it says Matty Coyle, single appearance, dies. And then Joe was a single appearance. Apparently, we got a uh, Commissioner Gordon cameo, which I don't really remember. I get oh when he sends him just in the beginning when yeah. he sends him away. And it says locations Gotham City, so apparently that's the Rocky Dam in Gotham City. Bat signal, bat rope, and utility belt, and the Batmobile. <sighs> I didn't like that. Did not like that one at all. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, are we done? Is that it? Do you have anything to say about that stupid comic? Yeah, it was definitely the worst one of all of them. But definitely, hundred yeah. percent. And it started out really good, and then it kind of gradually got. We've had that worse. happen a lot, oh, where it overall. seems like they don't know where to go from here, and they just kind of yeah. yeah exactly. Start putting more than one villain in in the story. I mean, there was two in this, obviously, but it was still in one story. Maybe she's just stick to the guys that they have and start making more stories with the villains they've already established. I but they really only have what? Do, I guess but. four villains right now. When's the last time we seen Catwoman? Have we only seen the Riddler once, right? We haven't seen Riddler at all. Oh, I thought we had him one time. No, we had Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Yeah, we did that's see Scarecrow. Was. It was Scarecrow. Wait, because we so have four. Peng- we have Penguin, Joker, Scarecrow, Catwoman. We have that Tweed- Doctor. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. We have the What's Doctor. That doc- Doctor Crime. Do- yeah. Yeah, we have the Cavalier too. 
Oh, yeah, the Cavalier yes. showed up a couple times. That's who we have right now. Okay. But that's still seven. Yeah, have, I guess. That's seven, they, and we haven't seen... We went, literally, I don't think we've seen Catwoman in, like, 15 issues. No, if they just saved them for the Batman issue, that probably would be okay. And in the Detective Comics, they could do these small yeah. ones, but... Yeah. Like, the last time we saw Catwoman, she got molested by Alfred. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. But, yeah. That's that for this episode, right? We got anything else? Um, I just opened my water bill and my electric bill at the same time. I was shocked. <laughs> well, I was shocked. Wow, that electric. was the joke? That, that was, was the joke. That, you can use that as a statement if you really wanted to. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> All right, so I can't afford to pay my electric anymore. These are some dark times. How about that? Is that better? I, I wanted to get at least two in there because you've been averaging two after you said you weren't doing none for this whole thing. So, I, yeah, I wanted the second one in there just, just to show how much you were so going to do this. Yeah, it didn't work out that well. So Okay, I guess we're done. Yeah, I guess Bye. so. Later.